Hey, what did you get at bargain store today then, Grandad? Well, I got some wooden kitchen utensils and a mini roller set. And what are we going to do with them? Well, I'm torn between doing a mousetrap car or a rubber band powered car. I reckon I could do both with both of these. Starting with the foam roller, I quite fancy using these bits, actually it's wheels. Uh, might be a bit impractical for today's project, so I'll save them. The fluffy rollers, uh, I don't know, I'll think about that. The handle and the frame, I actually want to make a hot wire foam cutter. So I may do that at some time using this, because it's a nice little handle for doing that sort of thing with. So we'll save those bits, put them to one side for later. That leaves us with this tray. And what I'm going to do is make it into a rubber band powered car. And then later I may convert it to a mousetrap car. But we'll do the rubber band powered car first because that's quick and easy. And I'll probably just use CDs as wheels because I've got plenty of them left over from other projects. In fact, looking around at the moment, I can see I've got a pair of wheels there. It's on a barbecue skewer or a cane. That's the axle. A uh, couple of plastic bottle tops hot glued either side as the hubs. And that's a plastic ball pen, or biro as I would call it. I've used as the tube for the axle. And looking at that, that's just a bit too narrow to fit on there. So I'm going to have to change that. I can still use the um, I'll use the CDs, but I'll need a, a wider axle. I've got another ready-made set there. That was from a, a balloon jet car. So same thing, I should take them off and use those as the wheels. So next thing we need to do is drill some holes in here. Couple at the front, couple at the back. Connect up a rubber band to the back axle. Could have it either way up, whichever way you think looks prettiest. And away we go. Okay, I've marked up where I'm going to drill my holes. I'm going to replace the existing axles with these flower canes that I bought in a garden centre. Um, it was 25 for £2.49. So they're, uh, what's that, 10 pence each? And they're 60 centimetres long and they're about, about 5 or 6 centimetres diameter. A couple of points about these canes, um, as you can see here, they tend not to be very straight. So if you're going to use them for axles, you have to choose a bit that's straight and then trim it to that length. But I should be alright there if I just chop this about here somewhere. That'll be a straight enough length for the wheels, or for the axle. 
The other thing I've found with these canes is quite often I've got tiny little splinters off them into my fingers. So be a bit careful, don't rub your hands up and down them. Uh, I think they're made out of bamboo. And bamboo's notorious for that, that you get very fine little slivers that can stick in you. The other thing I do with these canes is I use a pencil sharpener and just point, put a point on the ends, not a sharp point, but a bit of a point. And that then makes it easy to force it into the bottle top. Right, quite conveniently one of those bottle tops has fallen off when I've been taking this apart from the uh, balloon powered car. So it gives me an opportunity to demonstrate how I put them on. All I do is run some hot glue around the edge here, or around the middle. There's already lots there already so I'm trying to warm that up and soften it. And just push the bottle top in there and keep it as close to central as possible. And there we go, that's the hub on the CD. Right, that's the wheels in place. Right, there we are. It's just a bit of um, paper clip bent round the back axle and a bit of hot glue to hold it in place so that will hold on to our rubber band. Right, before we can do a test run we need some rubber bands joined together. Ok, that should be long enough. through the convenient bit at the front there. Hook it onto the back axle, wind it up. Make sure that it's touching my wall so we can test it for distance. Okay. Let it go. There we go. Full length of my kitchen. Easy. How long did that take to build? Half an hour, if that. Mind you, I'd already got the wheels ready, hadn't I? So it had taken a bit longer to make the wheels. So, now we'll go back upstairs and convert it to a mousetrap car. Mousetrap car conversion. Still got a couple of these left over from that project the other day. Three for 89p in my bargain store. So we'll use one of these. And we're going to do a very simple mousetrap car. I'm not going to put an extension on the lever arm. I'm just going to use it exactly as it is. Which means I'm going to mount it straight on the top there. I'm going to cut a hole in there so we can get through to the axle. And also, I need some string, or I think I might go and get some fishing line, just to connect it up to the axle. Right, I've drilled a small hole through. It'll take us through to the axle. I've also used a bit of sandpaper to smooth the edge of the mouse trap there, because that's where the string's going to be going down. I've drilled one hole just there because I'm actually going to hot glue the mouse trap in place but also put a, a screw through from the bottom to help hold it in place. There we are. Mouse trap in place. 
bit of fishing line. That goes down through the hole. And then underneath we hook it onto the axle and wind it up. So, another test run time. Right, let's test run the mouse trap. Trigger in place. Against the back wall, so we may well get some wheel spin this time because the uh, mouse trap's going to be more powerful initially. Yes, a lot of wheel spin. So we're going to have to put something around the, t the wheels, give it some rubber tyres. Right, what I'm going to use is these latex gloves. Uh, they come from my bargain store. I think you get about 200, 250 for a pound or something like that. They're very cheap. I'll just stretch it over the back wheel. That was a bit easier. Okay, so now we've got latex tires. Let's try and wind it up again. Camera ready. And there we go. Mouse trap car with latex tires. Summary time, I think. Okay, so what have we got? We've got the tray from a paint roller kit, uh, a narrow paint roller kit. The axles are canes, flower canes. The wheels are CDs or DVDs with, milk, uh, with bottle tops as the hubs to hold them in place. For the rubber band power car, I just attached the rubber band at the front there and attached it to my hook at the back there on the back axle. That hook's made out of a paper clip just bent round. And that worked. And to convert it to a mouse trap car, I drilled a hole through just there, mounted the mouse trap on top. Got a little bit of fishing line there attached to the arm which disappears down through the hole and is attached to the back axle. So there we go, two cars for the price of one. Bargain store project number 36 I think. And all done in, well, an hour or so I should think. Oh, I forgot. The latex tyres, because we didn't get enough grip when we've actually used the mouse trap. That's made from latex gloves just stretched over the wheels and the excess cut off. There we go. Job done.